good job welcome back to another reaction on this channel man today we are in tune for another very interesting topic of conversation now i told you guys in one of our last uploads that i don't even have to expose the industry anymore bro i'm literally just going to be reacting to videos of celebrities exposing the industry now we have this video right here of dave Chappelle revealing why jay-z was trying to unalive kanye west now we know that kanye west for the past couple of months have has been going on his little rampage and exposing the truth about the industry in all aspects as far as him having a handler as far as kim kardashian's demonic allegiance with balenciaga when it came to that child pedo campaign all right he's been exposing a lot of different things including the kardashian family as a whole all right so we're about to hop into this video right here and really understand why jay-z wanted to unalive kanye west make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe let's get into this video bro the industry is a monster is akin to killing him because this fucking industry is a monster it's the same monster that these me too bitches was trying to tell you about but they hate the monster for how it fits, and i hate that monster for how it eats i denounce anti-semitism in all its forms <laughs> And I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. <laughs> Listen, okay, I don't think Kanye is crazy at all. I think he's, not, he's possibly not well. Comedian Dave Chappelle has just made some pretty startling claims about the entertainment industry's purported plan to undermine rapper Kanye West. Chappelle believes that Hollywood's upper class might be conspiring against West, and he is the only person willing to speak up about it. Chappelle's recent interview has caused quite the stir in the entertainment industry, with some wondering if his accusations hold any water. As it would appear, there's a lot more to these claims than meet the eye, so I'd stay tuned if I were you. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. Dave Chappelle, a close friend a of Kanye question. West, recently revealed that the rapper has been vocal about the questionable practices of certain powerful players in the entertainment industry. However, as we all know, challenging the establishment often leads to repercussions. Reportedly, Kanye's outspokenness has made him a target for these individuals who view him as a threat to their power and are willing to use unethical tactics to bring him down. Some influential figures even prefer silencing Kanye rather than allowing him to continue speaking out. Chappelle, a longtime member of the entertainment industry, has also shared starting... You know, one interesting thing that I actually want to discuss in another video is the fact that a lot of people are speculating that the reason why Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were together was because Kim Kardashian was actually Kanye West's handler. Similarly with Beyonce and Jay-Z, they're saying that Jay-Z is Beyonce's handler. So that... There are some theories re re uh, relating to their relationship that we're going to have to dive into in a different video. But let's continue. Insights into the inner workings of Hollywood elites. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Chappelle opened up about the pressure he faced early in his career and how some individuals attempted to use it to control him. His revelations have caused a stir worldwide. Trying to get me to take psychotic medication. Yeah, like I'm sitting around, you know, I was stressed out, but the people that were telling me I was insane, I believe that they knew what was going on. It's widely known that Dave is an intelligent person and he's been aware of these issues for a long time. As a result, he's been strategic in choosing which battles to fight. He has stated that he's witnessed some concerning events take place. Dave went on to explain that his personal experience taught him that the best way to protect himself from these malevolent people was to distance himself from them. He had witnessed firsthand how they would manipulate situations and even use incorrect diagnosis or medication to control people. Like if that Kanye didn't work, they would label the individual as crazy and effectively write them off. Remember when like Connie said that the was. industry is disappearing people and using them as sacrifices and no one believed him, even called him crazy. Well, now what do you think? Son, you're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. Easy fans have stood by their idol through thick and thin saying, I've never doubted Kanye up to this day. I believe everything that comes out of his mouth. Another added, the industry is wicked to the death. If you've been following the news, you're probably aware that Kanye West's recent appearance at the Paris fashion show created a lot of controversy and made headlines in multiple media outlets. Despite facing criticism for wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt, Kanye continued to express his polarizing viewpoints, leading some people to distance themselves from him. 
In fact, Kanye even publicly accused P. Diddy of abandoning him when he needed support the most. As a result, it seems that Diddy has had enough of Kanye's behavior and is now threatening to use him as an example to others. To add to the drama, Kanye West is claiming that Diddy and Drake got into a physical altercation at his Yeezy Season 1 fashion show, with Jay-Z having to intervene to break it up. Kanye West has been vocalizing his thoughts to the media, even if it's affecting his career. In a recent appearance on the Lex Fridman podcast, he shared his opinions on a range of topics, including the media, anti-Semitism, and the US election. During one of his typical stream of consciousness rants, Kanye briefly mentioned an incident that occurred backstage at his Yeezy Season 1 fashion show in February 2015. According to him, there was a scuffle between Diddy and Drake. This fashion show was so popular that Justin Bieber had to sit in the second row. Kanye says, At that time, Puff Daddy had beef with Drake. Drake still came to the show and Jay-Z had to break up the fight backstage. Fans also seem to believe Kanye's claims, but a few of them are worried about his life and are now hinting that Kanye shouldn't spill Diddy's secrets. He's starting to tell other rappers' <laughs> business he might not be around breathing for much longer, especially Diddy's little secrets. I'm just saying, Wes did not stop himself at that alone. In fact, he expressed his opinions even more explicitly on the podcast, which landed him in hot water. He made several statements that caused a stir, some of which has stuck with people. In fact, his opinions were so controversial that the interview was taken down from YouTube. But as far as Meek Mills, Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these all you fake hard you. Wait, wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard West called out Jay-Z for not visiting his family after Kim Kardashian was robbed in Paris at gunpoint. I don't got no celebrity friends because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public and I didn't have the address of my child, none of these. According to NME, while on his St. Pablo tour in Seattle, West told the crowd, don't call me after the robbery and say how you feel it. You want to know how I feel it. Come by the house. Bring the kids by the house. Like we're brothers? Let's sit down. He added, I can't take this SHT bro. Our kids have never even played together. During West's Sacramento show, he went after Jay-Z again. Call me, bruh. You still ain't calling me. Jay-Z, call me. I, bruh, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. Shortly after his performance, West was admitted to a hospital for exhaustion and forced to cancel the rest of his tour. Meanwhile, a source had told Page Six that Jay-Z was only able to deal with West for a limited amount of time. Jay can't stand him, they said. He looks at him as this crazy, eccentric mother. This marked the start of the spectacular ascent and epic rift between two of the most renowned pop stars in the world, Jay-Z and Kanye West. In a lengthy interview with Charla Magni Thagat, West disclosed that his strained relationship with Jay-Z escalated after the Carters failed to attend his wedding. He revealed, I was hurt about them not coming to the wedding. I understand they were going through some things, but if it's family, you're not going to miss a wedding. It is also important to mention that as of the time of the interview, Wes had apparently not yet talked directly to Jay-Z about the whole thing. I don't think I ever asked him that question directly. What really hurt me? You can't bring my kid or my wife into it. Jay-Z later said in a radio interview, We've gotten past bigger issues, but you brought my family into it. Now it's a problem with me. The 99 Problems rapper added, You know it's a problem because me and him would have been talked about it, been resolved our issues. And he knows cross the line. He knows. And I know he knows. Cause we've never let this much space go between one of our disagreements and we've had many. That's part of who we are. Well, fans seem to be behind Kanye on this one because they think Jay-Z's intentions are not pure. One of them bro, tweeted- Jay-Z has already proven to himself to not be pure, bro. Look at him. <laughs> These two demonic experts right here. But look, man, I'm gonna end this video right here, okay? If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Let me catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.